Okay, so as you can see, I've maneuvered myself in front of the convoy again, this time from the other side. So this time, if I put the um, angle on bow into the red area, that will be the right thing to do. I'm just trying to get myself to as close to a right angle as I can right now with their course. Let's move to silent running again. All my torpedoes are reloaded. This time, this time I shall learn from my mistake. And I am also much uh, very closer in time or um, much further away from them before I've started to make my preparations, which always helps. Let's take a little look at these guys. Seem quite far away. But according to my calculations, although am I a bit no, I'm okay. It's about just over one thousand meters. Okay. Well we can afford to let them go a little bit closer. Before we start the identification process, although maybe we should do that now while they're far away. That's probably a better idea. Time is now 6 a.m. local time, so it's starting to get a little bit light. Not overly so. There's that well factory ship again, I think. So we can use him as a guide. Maybe we can identify a few of these others as well. That could be a small tanker. to be a modern tanker you know, as long as we identify one ship then that's the main thing this could actually be a modern tanker could it or is it not enough masts there medium tank I think there's one back here this one's a medium tanker I think pretty certain Too sure when I want to still this one I think no it could be a modern tanker I'm gonna just say this for now okay then put down the observation scope it's time to use the attack scope Let's use our whale factory ship as our guide and find it again. There we go. There we go. Although it is quite far away, but uh, what can you do? All right, line it up. Let's get the range here. Number of vertical marks is. One and a half, maybe? I mean, this isn't really the best ship to be using. Uh, is there another one closer which I've identified as I can use? That's the escort there. Mm -hmm. Modern tanker. Assuming this is a modern tanker. Uh, what's that? About three, maybe? Okay, so. Say three, so count uh, number one in the, in the dial to top line, so you move three to the top here. Check mast height. 33.4. Mast height on outer dial, 33.4, which is about there, which means it's about three, almost four kilometers away. I'll go with that. 40 kilometers? No, hold on. How does this thing work again? That's 400 meters, isn't it? So, yeah. About there. Uh, angle on bow, line up the range with the ship length. Uh, there, ship length 152, which is about, say, here. Uh, count horizontal marks. Whoops, we've lost our lock here. Is just over two. Marks on mid inner dial. Just over. 
Can't be right, can it? That means it's only 10 degrees. Uh, mm, mm, I don't know. Maybe if I can identify this thing, I can use this instead. What is this? Small tanker. I think that could be a small tanker. No, no, the smokestack isn't big enough. Modern tanker. Oh god. No, that doesn't really fit the profile. No. No. What are you? What the hell are you? Definitely a tanker of some sort, unless it's a Great Lakes freighter? No. I don't know what this is. Ah, you. You. What are you? I think this could be a small tanker. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, you're a small tanker. We'll use this guy instead. Okay, count number of vertical marks, that's three. Uh, so number of inner dial, put three to the top line, like so. Uh, mast height, 26.5. 26.5, which is about 30 kilometers, which is probably about right. There we go. Then we take 30 kilometers, move this round to the ship length, which is 94.8, 4.8, which is basically 95. Oops, there we go. Uh, number of horizontal marks, which is nine, just over, puts it about 55 degrees. That's better. So they're looking at me from the, the left here, so 30, 40, 50, is that right? 30, 40, 55. There. Good. And then we'll do the speed again. So. Boop. The curve scope down a little bit to mask ourselves. Because that escort ship is pretty close to us now, I think. There we go, 23 seconds. So you take 23 seconds on the mid outer dial here. 22, 23. Line up with the ship length, 94.8. There, that puts it again at eight knots. So that kind of validates our um, speed reading from before. Excellent, okay. We're just about ready now. Everything is locked in. We just need to um, get a rough calculation of the distance so it's going to be about just over one kilometers away so we'll pop this in here like so that gives us a better idea of when it's going to hit great so then my main target is going to be the whale factory ship because it's the biggest one i think small tanker is not such a big ship and uh, what else that modern tanker will be nice as well and that medium tanker the medium tanker is actually larger than the large tanker, which is odd in terms of tonnage. Let's see here, so I think that's the well ship there. I don't know where the medium tanker is, probably behind this ship here. But this is our guy, so we need to wait until he is at about 15 degrees away, and we'll have the perfect firing solution. Escort's ship is still blissfully unaware that we exist, which is good. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. I think it might be this guy here is our target, so I'm not too sure though. We'll find out in a moment. Take a look.
There she is. And where's this other one? That's you there. Good. Okay. So I'll fight this one first and then the second one. Okay. We're ready. Now, uh, the. Yeah. Set this depth to 11. Set your depth to 11. Region tanker is. Draft of 9.7. So I'll set yours at just over 10 there and just over 10 there. We'll go with magnetics for both of these. Okay. We're ready. Let's do this. I think first appeared for around here-ish, and then the second one near the smokestack. Okay. Ready? Everything looks correct. Buy one. Buy two. Oh, ideally, I want to wait a little while for this one to pass in front of me so that uh, the two sets of torpedoes impact more or less at the same time. Ah, it's picking up. Uh, Merchant who's kind of passed by us, which is not ideal. Okay, here we go. Is this the right guy? Yeah, this is him. And fire four. Let's go. I think my best tactic might be to try and sail underneath these ships to confuse the escorts. That's what I'm going to, going to try and do. Um, we've got time to increase speed before the first torpedoes hopefully hit. So here's the medium tanker, what I think is the medium tanker. This is the whale ship, I think. So we should hopefully get some hits. Oh, here we go. We've got an event camera. That's always good. Okay, so we hit the medium tanker. And she's going down straight away. Jesus. And we hit the well factory ship as well. Jesus Christ! Wow. Well, we obviously ignited the oil. Uh, with this one, not so much. But I think, pretty sure we got two, two hits on there. I thought I saw two explosions. But this guy is definitely done for. Okay, well, it's time to uh, leave this area. Let's sit down to about 33 meters, which is not ideal, but we'll still keep going. We are running, silent running. Let's see here. Medium tanker, yes. And that was a Wellington the plane we destroyed earlier. But that was pretty good. One, two, three four torpedo impacts so we did hit with all four torpedoes at almost the same time i think that was probably one of the best attacks i've ever done now it's just time to get away which should be fairly simple given that there's only two escorts let's see how is this whale factory ship doing it's got a little fire nothing major Too dark to see any damage underneath. But uh, yeah, two magnetic torpedo hits should hopefully be enough to seal the deal. This guy's engine is still going for some reason. But the propellers aren't moving. 
But yeah, he's going down. Derzeitige Tiefe 4 0. Bye bye. Didn't really need torpe two torpedoes for this one in the end, but uh, obviously you don't know that when you find them. Hello there. Surprise you survived that hellstorm in there. And down she goes. Can we hear it on the hydrophones? It's going to be over to the 90 degrees, I think. Oh, and the World Factory ship is going down. Now we can't hear the sinking ship, but that's good. We've got both of them. Fantasmic. There it is. It's just decided to give up the ghost for no reason whatsoever. Fair enough. I don't care. Right then, um, let's focus on what we're doing here. I think it better heads more to the south right now. We do have an escort ship coming quite close to us. Although, actually, let's cancel that. Let's head come towards it. Let's hopefully, help it not ping us. Set. Confirmation, yes, 12,000 tons. Or 12, um. No. Yeah, 12,000 tons. Pretty nice. If I do say so myself. Right, well, I'm going to attempt to evade these escorts now. If they attack me, or if anything nasty happens, I'll, of course, let you know. Uh, but yeah, I'll cut here as I do the evading. And come back momentarily. So I just thought I'd bring you back to watch this. Boom, boom, bubble boom. You won't be uh, making any more wells in your factory, Mr. Ship. Anyway, wells aren't made in factories. So, you're stupid anyway for thinking that. Whoa! Everything's on fire. <laughs> and there's his friend passing forlornly by. Down she goes. Is this a man? Yes, it's a man. Or at least the blackened remains of one. Okay. Back to our situation. So I'm still um, evading. Not had any pings or anything like that. Down at 75 meters and still going. So, so far so good. All right, well, you join me here on the bridge, obviously. Dawn is breaking. I managed to evade those two escorts fairly easily. Got no pinging. I think the closest one got about 400 meters away from me, but um, never heard a peep from them. Eventually, they went along their way. So now I'm uh, heading eastwards. Now, what I could do is follow these this convoy, try and track it down again and uh, have another pop at it. But I think that might be a job for another day. Also, I need to work out um, a time to load all these external torpedoes into the reserves or the reserve torpedoes into the um, internal bays probably tomorrow night um, it's December the 5th right now and yeah so pretty successful hit that time two big ships down 
and we'll see what to uh, what today brings. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.